Chapter 17 Breathing and Exchange of Gases Class 11 NCERT Let's start. Mechanism of breathing vary among different group of animals depending upon their habitats and levels of organization lower vertebrates like sponges, coil and traits flatworm etc. exchange oxygen with carbon dioxide by simple diffusion over their on TA body surface. mechanism of breathing vary among different group of animals depending mainly on their habitats and levels of organization. Lower invertebrates like sponges, coel entrits, flatworms etc. exchange oxygen with carbon dioxide by simple diffusion over their on TA body surface. Earthworms uses their moist cuticle and insects have a network of tubules to transport atmospheric air within the body special vascularized structures called gills are used by most of the aquatic arthropods and mollusks whereas vascularized bags called lungs are used by the terrestrial forms for the exchange of gases among vertebrates fishes use gills whereas reptiles birds and mammals respire through lungs amphibians like frogs can respire through their moist skin also mammals have a well developed respiratory system Respiration involves following stages diffusion of gases across alveolar membrane. Human respiratory system consists of a pair of nostrils which opens into the nasal chamber through the nasal passage. Nasal chamber opens into the nasopharynx, which is a portion of pharynx. Nasopharynx opens through the glottis into the trachea. Larynx is a cartilaginous box which help in sound production, hence called sound box. During swallowing, glottis can be covered by a thin elastic cartilaginous flap called epiglottis to prevent the entry of food into the larynx. Trachea is a straight tube extending up to the mid-thoracic cavity which divides at the level of fifth thoracic vertebra into a left and right primary bronchi. Each bronchi undergoes repeated division to form a secondary tertiary bronchi and bronchioles ending up in very thin terminal bronchioles. The trachea primary secondary and tertiary bronchi and the initial bronchioles are supported by incomplete cartilaginous rings. Hatched terminal bronchioles gives rise to a number of very thin irregular walled and vascularized bag-like structure called alveoli. The branching network of bronchi bronchioles and alveoli comprises the lung. The lung is covered by double-layered pleura with pleural fluid between them it reduces friction on the lung surface. The outer pleural membrane is in close contact with the thoracic lining whereas the inner pleural membrane is in contact with the lung. Surface the parts starting with the external nostrils up to the terminal bronchioles constitute the conducting part whereas the alveoli and their ducts form the respiratory or exchange part of the respiratory system. The conducting part transports the atmospheric air to the alveoli clears it from fog and particles humidifies and also brings the air to the body temperature. Exchange part is the site of actual diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide between blood and atmospheric air. The lung is situated in the thoracic cavity which is anatomically an airtight chamber. The thoracic chamber is formed dorsally by the vertebral column ventrally by the sternum laterally by the ribs and on the lower side by the dome-shaped diaphragm.